Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm here to brief you on fear, uh, immigration, and dystopias in a zombie um, incident. Um, as in any incident, uh, as in any zombie incident, fear will definitely cause mass movement of people. Um, as the infected come into the city, the people, <coughs> excuse me, the people will move out of the city. Um, this mass movement, if it's unplanned, if it's disorganized, it, it will cause a uh, breakdown of society. It, it will cause looters and bandits and um, other uh, undesirable um, actions to come out in, uh, in the wake of the people retreating from the infected. Um, in order to prevent this, we must provide a safe haven for people to go to. Uh, we must have um, a way for them to get to these safe havens as well. Fear um, causes people to act outside of the way they normally would. Fear causes people to do whatever it takes to survive. They will act purely out of self-interest and they will oftentimes forget things that they would have done in more civilized society. Um, as I had stated before, fear causes immigration and mass movement. Um, we need to uh, help to control this mass movement so it goes more smoothly. Um, the best illustration, I believe, of this mass movement was in the 2004 incident when everybody tried to evacuate from the cities at once. Um, people, again, will always look for a safe place to go. They will try and find that safe haven, that the place that they know that they will be protected at. Um, again, we need to this safe haven for them. Okay. Um, fear also causes immigration, people to move out of uh, congested areas. Um, if there's infected somewhere, people will not be there. They, they'll move out. They will go to the area, go to areas where there are the, um, the least infected. Um, the least number of zombies. Um, unplanned movement, as I stated, stated earlier, causes chaos. Um, roads get blocked up. People cannot escape from the cities. They cannot get away from the infected. What we need to do instead is create a plan for people to easy, more easily move out of the cities. We need to give people um, evacuation routes based on their location in the city and secondary evacuation routes in case the primary ones are cut off. Um, moving on from there, we, the safe zones where we will hopefully have people heading to, we need to get um, as many people to arrive safely at a safe zone as possible. That goes back to the evacuation um, protocols and we also need to uh, um, let people know where their safe zones are. Um, these safe zones must be set up in advance. We must have um, food, water, and shelter there prepared for people before they arrive. Finally, these safe zones must be safe. We have to have screenings at the door so that, or at the gate so that the infected cannot get into there. We must have strong walls and military protection as well. I thank you for your time. Um, and that is all.